subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Hurricane Douglas has passed its peak and is now on a slow weakening trend. It's uh, starting to form a new eye after it collapsed overnight. An eyewall replacement cycle has been underway for a time. 16.5 north, 142 degrees west. It's still a category 3 right now. Uh, there it is, moving west-northwest at 18 miles per hour. Pressure of 962 millibars and a CDPS stage 2. The storm is still approaching the Hawaiian Islands, but there are indications that it may overshoot and pass a little bit to the north. However, tropical storm conditions and possibly hurricane conditions for the islands in the next few days. Kauai on July 27th is now expected to be the closest place. That's where we have the stage 2 in effect on the CDPS scale. Significant damage is possible. There's its current position depicted on the map as of 6 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, July 24th. Uh, as I said, 16.5 north, 142 degrees west. It handed over to the Central Pacific Hurricane Center an hour or two ago. It's 892 miles from Hilo, 963 from Maui, 1016 from Molokai, 1090 from Honolulu, and 1194 from Kauai. There's still no warnings out there yet, but we are expecting that we'll see the first watches later today. This is what the uh, consensus is for the intensity right now. The advanced Dvorak technique from NOAA just a little bit below the National Hurricane Center and Satid falling away a little bit due to the storm's weaker appearance right now down to the Category 2 range. However, that's the latest National Hurricane Center map issued by the Central Pacific Hurricane Center, still calling for a hurricane landfall, possibly even on Oahu, um, definitely further east there according to that cone, but a cone is there for a reason and it could still pass north or indeed south of where that cone, uh, the center line of that cone. Of course, that would mean that even the Big Island could still get hurricane force conditions and it would appear likely that all islands will see tropical storm conditions in one way or another. Looking at the precipitation chart then, as we go through the uh, GFS model, this is the storm, um, its energy bundle moving through the Hawaiian Islands there on the 27th and the 28th and then moving on towards the west-northwest, still going there by the end of the month and it steams up towards the northwest, towards the north eventually. Another look at that progression of images. The red zones there near the center showing the very high moisture count. Most of it though, on the GFS model at least, is staying offshore. So at the moment we're looking at maybe two or three inches on the islands, but isolated higher amounts. Sea surface temperatures around Douglas right now are roughly 26 degrees Celsius, uh, which is just about what's needed for tropical cyclone development. They'll cool down a little bit more as it approaches Hawaii. You can see here the yellows are hurricane conditions and you'll see the strongest winds are on the northern side of the storms. So that's more good news if it passes north of the islands. And as you can see, none of them got touched by hurricane force winds, but tropical storm force winds on some of them. Uh, but that is just one model run. Let's take a look at some of the others then. For the intensity comparisons, interestingly, HWRF and HMON calling for a second peak, which is really curious. Uh, the GFS gradual weakening, CTCX gradual weakening, National Hurricane Center agree on that as well. Wind shear is prime right now, near nil, but it will start to rise later today. Sea surface temperatures dropping a lot right now. They'll start to rebound as it nears the Hawaiian Islands and relative humidity it will start to drop as well you can see the uh, consensus from the models there a little bit of a spread it looks like the big island might be spared but the other islands still really watch this very very closely and even on the big island because you never know what might happen in the tropics so here is the latest satellite imagery from go 17 and you can see what happened last night with the eye uh, just decided, well, now's the time to collapse, and it did. Uh, so now it's trying, by the looks of things, to get a new eye um, fleshed out there on the latest frames. Just about to get daylight imagery, not quite yet. Uh, but this storm still poses a significant threat to the islands. We'll have more updates. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. 
To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.